Welcome to another episode of New to Me. I'm Stephen Michael Zach, and today we're finally looking at the Amaran 100X. That's right, just came in the mail today. Um, first off, this will cost you $249 at the time of the recording of this video, and here's the technical information. Now that the technical information is over, let's pop this sucker open. Now, I have cheated and I did actually open this up ahead of time, uh, <laughs> so things are kind of in the wrong spot, but you're gonna get your run-of-the-mill instructions, you're going to get a power pack here. Now this is a smaller power pack uh, because it is a smaller light, and you still get uh, <laughs> you still get this mess right here of very very long cable. You get the um, the already built in uh, little metal uh, safety cable, and you can unscrew this as well. Very cool. And of course you do get the power connector here with the tie which has that lovely red button to help disconnect it. And you get the same dish here, uh, very nice. And this is pretty much going to be not completely surprising. Uh, this is exactly the same as the 200X. Okay, so like I said, this is exactly like the 200X. Now one thing I did notice uh, is that this mount is actually a little bit better. Um, it's stiff but it's not cracking, it's squeaking a little bit, but I don't hear the cracking and the breaking inside. So I think I may have gotten a dud with the 200X. Uh, this is very, very stiff, and there is a little bit of binding and cracking in there, uh, but it sounds a lot better. I just wouldn't move this too much, uh, because again, you're probably most likely, stuff in here is not gonna last, uh, feels the same. Now you do get, of course, the same uh, metal inside, the same handle, which you don't need to over tighten because literally once you do that, uh, it's not going anywhere. Uh, and you get everything pretty much exactly the same. You get your power, your on off switch, your two buttons, your Bluetooth reset, the screen, your little uh, switch here for uh, getting the Bowens off. And this is exactly the same body as the 200X, and I will post the 200X review right up there uh, so you guys can take a look at that. Uh, but everything feels really good. It feels exactly the same. Uh, one thing I'll say is this one has a little less play than the 200X, uh, and putting this thing together is very easy. Uh, just pop it in. Again, you can't take it out unless you pull this red thing back. Very cool. And let's go ahead and throw, throw that on the floor. You just plug this right into the back here, like so, and you are ready, all ready, good to go. Now, I have already hooked this up to, and of course you do get instructions too. Uh, I have already hooked this up to the uh, Cytos Link app, so let's plug it in and let's check it out. Okay, with a flip of the switch, this thing is on, and this thing is crazy bright. Uh, as you can see, very cool. Uh, let's go ahead and first you have, uh, let's go here, so we have, 2700, 34, uh, 30, uh, 43, uh, 32, 43, 55, and then you have 65, uh, ooh, right in the money. And again, you still get the same uh, problems with the viewing screen as well. And of course you have the quick press here, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. Uh, so you still get that. It goes from zero to 100. Now I have not upgraded the firmware, so I do not hear a fan. We will do a fan test before this review is over to hear when the fan kicks in. Uh, but on all, uh, this thing is super bright, really loving it. Um, very powerful, especially with the dish on. Um, you do get the same buttons here, the same screen, the same reset. Basically, this is the exact same thing as the 200X. There's just a different chip on the front. That's basically the only difference. Now, let's talk about the uh, little vlog I did on Monday. Um, and uh, let's talk about that. Uh, now, for my needs, I wanted to be able to hook all my lights onto one switch and shut them off. Now, here's the problem I had with the 200X. The 200X, I did the firmware update. I will not be doing the firmware update on this. And uh, let's go ahead and show you why. Now, with the 
200X, I did the firmware update and it gave me two fan options. It gave me a smart fan, which has the fan moving slower and quieter and only ramps up when it needs to. Uh, and then there is a medium mode, which means the fan is always running. Um, on this, there is, uh, when I go into the Citus Link app, let's go into, let's, re let's reconnect here. And let's go into the Citus Link app. It's the other thing about the Citus Link app is it's always reconnecting. Uh, but let's go into the one, uh, let's go into here. Oops, let's go into the 100X and let's switch, hit fan note fan here. And as you can see, there is no fan information. Uh, when you update this, you'll get smart fan and you'll get medium fan. Uh, I will not be updating these. I do not want the fan to go on. This most likely will be on. I have the 200 on about 40%. Uh, this will probably be about 20 or 30%. I don't want the fan going on, so I will not be updating the firmware. Uh, in the future, I would love for Aperture to give us the choice, either shutting it off, turning it on medium, or going into smart mode. Having those three options would be fantastic. Um, speaking of fan noise on the 200X, um, everybody's complaining about the fan noise. I have to say right now, it's at 40%. It is in smart mode. It is now behind a light dome mini. Um, I cannot hear it at all. Uh, yes, I'm wearing a body mic, but I hear the 300D Mark II and my computer more than I hear the uh, 200X at 40%. So, but fan noise is not really going to be an issue. So people like me and other people should stop complaining about the fan noise. Unless you're cranking that thing to 100, it's not really going to be an issue. And as long as your microphone is far enough away, there really isn't a problem. Um, and I have a 13 by 18 studio. Yes, there is soundproofing in here, um, but you know, and there's a little bit of, still a little bit of echo, but I am not hearing that at all. Uh, so it is really not an issue for me in my tiny studio, um, which um, is exactly what these are for. So you should not have a problem unless you're cranking these things to 100 all the time. Now, with that said, let's talk about the other problem I was having, and that is when you use the Citus Link app, these actually don't turn off. When you use the Citus Link app, the 300D Mark II shuts off completely and turns on completely. But let's just go into the 100 here and let's go ahead and hit the off button here. And as you can see, the screen is still on and if I firmware updated this, the fan would still be going. Um, so these, the Citus Link will only put this in a standby mode. I really wish that it would just shut the whole thing off. Uh, but unfortunately, it's a hard switch, so it's not going to do that. Um, so now I was looking for a solution on how to shut these off and not have constant power running to them. Well, uh, here's how I fix that. And I, I felt this was a great solution. In fact, I found another YouTuber had done the same thing. Uh, Make Art Now, you can check him out here. Uh, he has some brilliant content. Um, but uh, I sort of came up with this and then stumbled on his and said, hey, I did the same thing. And that is uh, Alexa, studio left, off. Okay. Alexa, studio left, on. Okay. <laughs> so there is my solution. I actually went out and I bought an, an Alexa dot uh, fourth generation. It sits on my desk. I bought a whole bunch of uh, plugs that wire into it. And it is the best thing that I've ever done because now my entire studio is voice activated. <laughs> no more hanging buttons, you know, why, you know, remote control switches on the walls or having remotes like this mounted with Velcro that when I pull it off, it's going to tear up my wall. No more of that. Everything in this room is voice activated. I will be going through this system when I do my studio tour. Um, but that is it. That is how I um, came up with my solution uh, to actually getting these things to shut off. Uh, best like 100 bucks I've ever spent. So with that, getting back to the review on the actual light fixture, um, here are my final thoughts. This is still a fantastic budget light. Um, if you do not need the crazy power of the 200X, uh, I got it because I plan to take that down and take it to gigs and actually use it outside of my studio. But I would suggest getting a 100X and or maybe to one or two of these or getting one of these and then maybe getting a 100D. Uh, you know, put together whatever kit you feel you're going to need. Uh, probably get two of the Xs and one of the D so I have the power. But all in all, this is exactly the same. Uh, works really, really well. Built very solidly. Um, yes, you have to be careful not to over tighten this. But I mean, uh, I mean, even e even when this thing isn't isn't tight, it's very, very stiff. And all you have to do is literally that 
and it's not going anywhere. I didn't even have to pull down at all. I just had to move it until it just started to stop, just started to get stuck. Just started to, you know, until it, till it just gets a little tight. That's all you need. They've done a real good job of, of whatever that is. Um, all in all, super cool, super awesome. I definitely, I'm definitely going to get another one of these and probably a 100D. Um, and for 250 bucks, you can't really beat that price. It is pretty solid. Now, one thing I will suggest is finding a store, uh, depending on where you live, you can find certain stores that one, have free shipping, and two, if it's being mailed to your state, if it's being mailed out of state, um, it, there's no tax. Uh, so I would look to see if that's available in your area uh, because that's what I did with this one. I ordered it from a, a, a certain, I order, that's what I did with the um, Light Dome Mini as I ordered it from I think like Washington State and there was no shipping and no tax. So I actually got it for $129.99 or whatever it is. Uh, so that's a little hint. So you don't end up paying like $60 or 40 to $60 in uh, shipping and tax costs. Uh, but all in all, uh, this is pretty awesome. Um, I think it's going to, going to go great. It is going to be replacing the 300D so I can actually take that down and take it to work with me. Uh, and it is not overkill in my studio. And I do plan on getting another Light Dome or Light Dome Mini uh, for that side as well. Uh, and I will be doing a review on the Light Dome Mini soon as well. Um, so that's it. Those are my thoughts. But... I want to know yours. So leave your questions and comments in the notes below. Also, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget to mash that bell button to be notified when we drop a brand new video. And feel free to use the links below as it helps out the channel. I'm Stephen Michael Zach, and this is New to Me.